Hello, bonjour, and welcome to your new RT1 Exchange video. Welcome to this channel where we explore together, we discover, and we taste exceptional wines from around the world. And let me spoil it for you right away. Here we have quite a wine to discover. We have, in fact, two fantastic Chilean wines, although we're making two separate videos, one for each of them. These two wines are without a doubt among the very best wines made in Chile, South America, and a legendary blind tasting somewhat similar to the famous historic judgment of Paris that you may have heard about, but one called the Berlin tasting ranked these two wines as the two absolute best wines or some of the very best wines in the world, it judged those two wines as being better than the top chateaus of Bordeaux, the Margaux, the Pauillac and the likes. So let's learn more about these wines and we'll talk about the Berlin tasting as well. Here in this video we're talking about Binedo Chadwick made by the famous Errathuris Chadwick family a crew that has also obtained a perfect 100 out of 100 point score by critic James Suckling at some point. So let's go and dig into this wine story. And a word on the Berlin tasting first to give you some background information and it is a fascinating story. In the early 2000s a man called Eduardo Chadwick who was running the famous Errathuris winery in Chile, one of the most respected of all wine producers in Chile, was looking for ways to have the quality of Chilean wines acknowledged on the international scene. Chile has been making wine for a pretty long time now, a few centuries, but back then they still weren't considered to be among some of the best wines in the world, people didn't know that they could produce world-class types of wines. So Eduardo took example on the legendary 1976 Judgment of Paris that confronted in a blind tasting Napa Valley wines to Bordeaux wines. This tasting saw the California wines come out on top, so Eduardo decided to reproduce this, but with Chilean wines facing not only Bordeaux wines, but also Italian legendary Bordeaux blends such as Sassicaia from Bulgari. On January 23rd, 2004, Europe's most influential wine writers, sommeliers and leading critics were gathered to blind taste 16 wines from France, Italy and Chile, including the illustrious Chateau Lafitte, Latour and Margot. If you follow my work on YouTube, my videos, you would be familiar with those, some of the very best wines in Bordeaux. And the two Italian Super Tuscan superstars, as well as those two Chilean wines, were on the tables. Namely, these wines are called Senia and Minedo Chadwick. Stephen Spurrier himself, the very man who had organized the Judgment of Paris back in 1976, some 20 years prior, was even there to preside the event. So some serious stuff. Guess what happened? These two Chilean wines were judged as the two best wines of the event. Binedo Chadwick was first and Senia was second. This is the fascinating story of the legendary 2004 Berlin tasting. After the inaugural Berlin tasting of 2004, which started things pretty well, as we've seen, for Chadwick and Senia to further prove their point, that event has been repeated annually around the world, like in Tokyo in 2006, Beijing in 2008, New York in 2010, or Santiago de Chile in 13, just to name a few of these great events taking place annually in a great city around the world. And both Senia and Binedo Chadwick have consistently featured among the top, the very best wines in the world again, facing some of the top French, Italian and Spanish wine superstars. Now, at the Alti Wine Exchange, we've secured for you some of the very last bottles of these very specific Chilean wines, the same vintages that have been ranked at the top of the wine chain by world experts. So we've secured the last 60 bottles of Binedo Chadwick 2010, yes only 60 bottles left for sale in the world, 96 bottles of Senia 2007, one of the stars of those events, and only 12 Magnum bottles, this time of the exceptional Senia 2008, prices ranging from 130 euros to 220 per bottle incredible prices for such high levels of quality 
the competitors on those events are on much, much, much higher prices, and those ones are built to age for a very long time, decades, quite possibly. Wines definitely to invest on for the future. We have a few bottles of them for you available through our exchange, link in the video description. But let's get back to the wines, shall we, and talk further about them. So where does this legendary Chilean wine come from and who's made it? You're probably wondering, here's its story. Don Alfonso Chadwick Errazuriz is a historic figure of the Chilean wine industry. He established Chile's first wine brokerage in the early 1930s and bought around 300 hectares of vines in 1942. Quite a large vineyard. Later on, for some 41 years later, with some success, he took control of Viña Errazuriz, which was founded by his ancestor Don Maximiliano Errazuriz in the Aconcagua Valley, back in 1870. Anyhow, you get the point, it's a long family story and a family deeply involved in the history of Chilean wine, a pioneering family, this says. When Alfonso Chadwick passed away in 1993, a little closer to us now, his son Eduardo, the man who will organize the Berlin tasting, succeeded to his father as president of Viña Errazuriz, again one of the most respected wine producers in Chile. A few years later, in 1999, Eduardo decided to craft the best wine that he could make, his flagship wine, and he named it Viñedo Chatwick in honor of his father Alonso. So a wine of pride, a wine of memory, a wine of heritage. This is a 100% Cabernet Sauvignon from some of the very best vineyards in Chile, of course, aged in French oak barrels, much in a Bordeaux or Napa style, if you wish. The fourth vintage of this wine, vintage 2002, was the one who beat everyone else at the Berlin tasting. Vintage 2014 of this wine was rated a perfect 100 out of 100 points, by famous international critic James Suckling, who also gave vintage 2015 a 99, 16 a 99, and 17 another perfect 100 point score. This is what we're dealing with here, and we have the successor here, the Air Vintage 2018. Let's find out what it tastes like. So let's get tasting Viñedo Chadwick and find out what it's got to say to us. Now, this is some serious, seriously dark color, as we obviously expect from a high-end Chilean Cabernet, but I'm very, very impressed how, how shiny and intense this red color is. Rarely do you have such a vibrant, 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 opulent red color in a wine. It's such an intensely and densely colored wine. Generally, they're not as in your face red as this wine is, not as vibrant. The nose now <sighs> is absolutely captivating. It's, oh, it makes me salivate already. It's very intriguing, in fact. It's actually a little hard to clearly define what you're smelling here, but you know, it's enjoyable, and that's why it's intriguing. You know it's enjoyable, but it's not giving away everything quite yet, and great wines do that when they're very young. They don't clearly reveal themselves to you on the nose. They tease you with hints of things, but it's hard to point out individual aromas. That's exactly what's going on here. They keep all of those clear aromas for themselves because they're very young and yet to bloom. Here you get some hints of violet flowers. It's a bit floral, some fruitiness, some cassis or black currant. There's a lot of black olive, a touch of pepper, a lot of different elements but it's very, very just intriguing indeed. You can sense the complexity quite yet already on the nose, but it, 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 you sense that it's got a lot more to say with age. They'll come with age. Maybe the palate will tell us a bit more. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow, and the concentration of this wine is absolutely outstanding. Rarely have I tasted anything this concentrated. It's not only concentrated in tannins. I've tasted a few very tannically concentrated wines. It's not your huge, warm and generous wine 
with 14.5, 15% and above alcohol that just blow your mind because it's so big and warm. No, this is different. If you look at the label, it's just 13.5%, but it still feels so dense and concentrated, especially from the acidity. Such a dense and powerful acidity, but it's not aggressive acidity because it's also rich and oily with dense tannic structure, a silky tannic texture. It's balanced overall because it does have some body and a really silky texture. So the balance, uh, it balances this acidity as well. So you sense everything is so really densely packed, but also balanced unbelievable again i've hardly ever tasted anything so dense especially from an acidity standpoint it's silky it's smooth but you can taste it's a young wine on the palate as well flavors are still to be clearly defined and revealed and bloomed uh, with time and that's what it takes right great wine comes with time as well you get the fresh cherry the cassis the clove the vanilla from the oak the smokiness the black pepper the black olive as well but you sense this is a wine built to age and to open up for a very very long time over a very long period of time this is a baby wine with a huge potential and i can certainly understand how tasters at the berlin tasting tasting a similar wine of a different vintage uh, obviously were so impressed it's fine it's refined it's insanely dense it has all the marks of a wine that is really built to age and evolve positively for at least 20 years probably more it's just so dense that yeah i mean this is baby of a wine again quite a revelation to me this Pinedo chadwick 2018 is yes quite possibly i can believe it the best chilean wine certainly one of the very best at least really really impressive and i'll leave it here for today wow this was the story of this legendary wine and my thoughts about what it tastes like this wine is available on the rt1 exchange platform you can learn more about it through the link in the video description if you want to watch the video about the other star of the berlin tasting chilean star of course a wine called senya i'll link to the video i made about it at the end thanks for watching and i will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine Au revoir.